Shout out Miss Freeman. Shout out Mr. Eckler. Uh, shout out Chemistry Class, third hour. 2018, 2019. Uh, shout out David Johnson uh, for moral support. Uh, let's get this beat going, baby. McKay. Drop. Let's take it back to August 9th, 1776. That's when Avogadro was born from his mom. His full name was Lorenzo Romano Amadeo Carlo Avogadro. Wow, that sure is a mouthful. Now David's on the beat talking about some moles. The mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Wow, that's a really big number. Oh yeah, 23 zeros. You heard me. The mole was Avogadro's original idea. He tried to pitch it to some scientists, but they didn't accept it. They just thought he was crazy. Little did they know he was actually right. Those scientists shouldn't have been so lazy. They were probably up all night just playing some Fortnite. They threw a celebration about his idea being right. Too bad Avogadro was already dead. In chemistry, there's a unit called the mole. All the students in a class can describe it as dreadful. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd can be really dull. It'll really make you want to plan your own funeral. Alright, if you had one mole of rice, it would be enough to cover the whole world more than twice. Actually, it would cover up the world to be 75 meters deep. Now let's say you had a mole of basketballs. Those basketballs would be the same size as the Earth. That's crazy, cause the Earth is 25,000 miles long. So your basketball planet would also be 25,000 miles long. Imagine if you traveled to Neptune and you brought along a whole mole of golf balls. Those balls would cover the whole planet to be 5.13 miles deep. Wow, rip Neptune. If you had a mole of iPhone 5Cs, it would wrap around the sun almost six times. That's right. Because the sun's circumference is 2,713,406 miles long. That's a big sun, baby. Big sun. In chemistry, there's a unit called the mole. All the students in a class can describe it as dreadful. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd can be really dull. It'll really make you want to plan your own funeral.